Jamal LaSalle's, Carl Darlow, and you're watching Newcastle Fans TV. Hello everybody, welcome to the new look. Uh, Newcastle Fans TV studio room which we've been building up as well if you want to see more of what we've been doing with this room as well head over to our second channel Newcastle Fans TV spin-off which will show you a little behind the scenes of this as well uh, so head over there right um, this is going to just cause a debate because it always does it's Alexandra Mitrovic in front of me I've got a few stats uh, here out of us which I'm going to reel off to you but I want, what I want to know is whether you rate Alexandra Mitrovic as well so on, the, on your screen you'll see this card a simple yes or no click on it if you're watching it, go back, rewind it, click on it again, uh, vote, do you rate Alexandra Mitovic? Simple, yes or no, that's all I want to know from you. We'll also put this out on Twitter as well. As you can see, the results are pretty much swaying towards the rate Alexandra Mitovic. Why then? Why do fans rate Alexandra Mitovic? Right. Now, I just want to touch upon, first of all, Super Mac, uh, Malcolm McDonald, who does his article for the local media. Uh, every week it is, isn't it? So, he's he, he doesn't rate him one bit. He criticised him a few months ago, massively saying, you can't even jump for a big lad. Mind you, he doesn't even rate Hoslow, to be fair. So, there's two strikers which he doesn't rate as well. Now, since Benitez, since Rafa's has come to the club in March 2016, Mitrovic has only started just 15 games. Now, if you've got to remember, we had the back end of the Premier League, and then we had all all the championship games, the cup games as well, and also this season, 15 is very, very little. He's not basically getting a look in. But why is that? We'll come to that in a second. Now, this season, he's only played the three three games. Two of those have come from the bench. A goal against Forrest where he started, scored, and then the following Saturday, we came up against West Ham, we won 3-0. Mitrovic come off the bench, rounded Joe Hart, scored again. Of course, he had that daft, daft elbow, which we'll come on to that in a minute as well. But more recently, he come off the bench against Crystal Palace alongside Mo Diame. Newcastle went a little bit more direct and things happened. Whether you like it or not, things happened under Mitrovic and we went on and scored for Mikel Mourinho's header uh, later on in the game. And, you know, things do happen when Mitrovic seems to come off the bench. Also... His run for Serbia is phenomenal. It's absolutely phenomenal. The likes of Ronaldo, Lionel Messi will all be happy with this stat. In the last 13 games for Serbia, Mitrovic has scored nine. That is mega impressive. But that is in a different formation than what we play. We play the 4-2-3-1. Serbia play 4-3-3. So he's got two wingers either side of him. Whereas in Newcastle, we don't have that. And I think that is one problem as well, which we'll come on to as well. Now, we all know his temperament. You can't trust him and so on. But you can trust John Joe Shelby. He casually stamps on Deli Ali. But he's straight back in the... Well, he's not straight back in the side. After a couple of games after his suspension, he's back in the lineup. So I don't think it's that. I think there's more to it than that. You know, last... Well, I'll say last season, the back end of the Premier League season when we went down against Spurs. And it was a great day. We won 5-1 and it was it was a pretty easy afternoon. Everybody around the ground was singing. And Mitrovic scores and snaps. Uh, who was it? It was the right back one. I'm sure it was Kyle Walker. Gets himself sent off. Absolutely stupid. The game was... Well, it wasn't won, but... It was a meaningless game. You just went in hot-headed. And ever since then, he got banned for four games at the start of the next season. I just think Rafa just doesn't trust him, doesn't fancy him. They had four games banned going into the championship. Dwight Gale got off to an absolute blind eye. He was scoring the goals. And he couldn't, he couldn't nudge Dwight Gale. And yes, Dwight Gale had his injuries towards the second part of the season. But even then, Darryl Murphy was getting looking ahead of him. And... and he kind of didn't get a look in the second half. The season. Yes, he says, yes, he scored uh, a couple of goals against Press in either games, but he didn't really get a look in against the championship line. I just think Rafa just doesn't trust him in the formation, doesn't trust him as well. This season, he's been knocked down to third choice with the signing of Hoslow. Now, Hoslow's getting slated on Twitter, which I think is bang out of order. He don't directly tweet a player and criticise him. I think that's a bit out of order by some fans. However, um, you know, he's been knocked down to third choice. His record, as I mentioned, for Serbia and Newcastle this season, despite playing so many little games, has been great. But that that I think the elbow against Lanzini didn't help him one bit at all. You're going in, you're sticking an elbow in. Yes, he got away with it, but the FA seen it later on, give him a three-game ban. I think, I think how many times can you accept that? But then again, I'm going to throw this out. Yes, how many times can John Joe Shelby do stupid things and get away with it? Who's got the better ability? You'd probably say John Joe Shelby, yes. But the both of them are I think further on down the line, you're gonna see another you're gonna see some McDaff from John Joe Shelby in the future. That's gonna happen. Same with Mitrovic as well. It's just how much can he pull up with? I think Rafa's had enough. 
And honestly, I think it's time he's up. Time is up for Mitrovic. I like Mitrovic. I'm a fan of his. Uh, I think he makes things happen off the bench in particular. And I want to see more of him in his, in the Newcastle shirt. You know, he loves the club. He, but that's not enough. You've got to actually go on and be disciplined and perform whilst you're on the pitch. And whilst he is doing all right this season for Serbia and Newcastle, it's just that worry that he's got. And I just don't think the formation either helps him. 4-2-3-1. I just don't think it because Newcastle are designed not to put crosses in the box. Now, you may say, yes, we've got Atom one side, Richie on the other, but how many times are you actually seeing crosses coming in from deep? It's very, very rare. We don't play that kind of system. I just think Rafa's had enough. He struggles, he struggles up, up top on his own in this formation. As the system doesn't help. I think it's best that he moves on as well. I think in January, I think he will go. It's World Cup year. He needs to be playing football. And the system works. The 4-3-3 works for Mitrovic and Serbia. But will Rafa change that formation? Kind of tip. Really can't say it. And a lot of people are shouting on, you need to start against Man United. And I am one of those people. I am Mitrovic's corner because in the present situation, I don't think Hoslu's doing enough. I don't think it's great that fans, like I've mentioned, sending them abuse on Twitter. I think that's bang out of order. However, yes, you support and you support the lads. Um, but I think there was needing a change up top. I think Mitrovic, why not? If he's dynamite and so what, that's a risky run. Um Shelby runs at risk every time he steps on the pitch as well. Do you go with Gale as well? It's an interesting one. It's going to cause debate. Get your comments down there below. Are you a fan of Mitrovic? If you are, back it up. Tell us why. If not, if you're not a fan, is there some of the reasons that I've read out today? Is that the reasons why? Comment down there below. I want to know what you think on this. This is going to cause some debate. See you later. Ta-da. Bye-bye.